All right, Blues, welcome back to the Daily Blues. An awful night in Europe last night, a, a defeat where we had a big chance to top the group. We'll get back onto that in a minute, but I think we should rename this series from the Daily Blues to Injury Watch because it seems like every day there's a new injury problem and it just gets worse. Um, we found out last night after the game that Vincent Company is going to be out for at least another two weeks. I don't know why. It hasn't really come out as to why or what's, what's gone wrong with this injury problem that he picked up before he went away with Belgium. And then, just to make it even worse last night, Joe Hart, who was magnificent, got taken off. Um, it looked like a precaution. He didn't look in too much pain or discomfort when he came off, but apparently it's a hamstring injury, so we'd expect him to be out for a couple of weeks as well. So that means Caballero was going to have to play net and was still going to have to struggle on without company. We missed company last night because at times we needed a bit of, a bit of solidity at the back and a leader. Again, we always miss a leader when company's not playing. Um, their goal, I just thought, everyone was saying, oh, it's a foul on, on Otamendi. Rubbish. It was never a foul on Otamendi. It was just weak. And that's sometimes our problem in Europe. and probably sums up City in Europe in general. A bit soft centre and a bit too nice. Um, other things from last night. I didn't think we played too badly. Don't get me wrong. I think we played much better than we did against Liverpool on Saturday. But... Still problems creeping in. Main problem, we cannot take our chances. And in Europe, we will get punished. And we did again. We did against Juve at home. We got punished massively on that night. And we really did last night. Yes, Juve had chances. Juve were a good side. They played really, really well. What they did is they scored and shut up shop, which is brilliant in Europe. We just couldn't break them down. Yes, we missed David Silva. Any team would miss David Silva. But we just lacked a bit of creativity, a bit of pace as well. And we had chances. Fernandinho had the chance to open the scoring, which would have changed the game completely. And then Sterling had what was, for me, a tapping, that he has to score. Any player of his calibre, of, of that quality, needs to be taking chances. And if we don't take the chances, we'll never top a group in Europe. And we have to, eventually. Otherwise, we're going to get Barcelona and we're going to get annihilated at this rate. But it's more bad news. However, we look forward to, sa to Saturday against Southampton. It's a chance for us to get back on track. And we need to. We, we need a win. Lift our spirits. Lift the players' confidence, which seems to be lacking a little bit. But I'm sure we'll be all right. We'll see you back tomorrow for our match preview for the Southampton.